Well, uh, I would say that my mission is currently pending because, as you can see, Tom Cruise is over there, but I'm not with him. Um, I'm waiting for him, but he's doing that thing he always does, which actually I respect. He talks to fans before he talks to the press. And I know that because I've waited six hours for him before. Um, I've met him a couple of times before. The first time he rang my friend Joanne in Wigan and the second time we had chit-chat. I don't know whether he'll remember me tonight, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Anyway, let's have a look at the film. Shall we have a look at the film? At 60 years old, he's entitled to a free bus pass in Wales. Instead, he's riding off the top of a mountain on a motorbike. And this isn't special effects, he actually did it. This is only part of why he's described as the last great movie star. Crucially, he's also someone who gets people to turn up to the cinema. The top bods wanted Top Gun Maverick to be released on streaming. Tom insisted it was released in cinemas and it became the highest grossing film of 2022, taking more than £562 million worldwide. So there are high hopes for this latest instalment of Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise has fought to get bombs on seats. This has been a, a big thing. In some ways, he's been hailed as saving cinema because after the pandemic, people just wanted to sit at home and stream their movies, have their popcorn, pause their movie, pop in for a toilet break. Now they're all in the cinemas. He actually drew them in with Top Gun Maverick. It will need to make some money as it cost £227 million to make, which is £100 million more than its predecessor. But that's because it was made along with the next movie back to back in the pandemic. Cast and crew were kept in employment during quarantine periods and location shutdowns, which sent costs spiralling and must have felt like a mission impossible of its own. A year later than planned, it's finally hitting our screens again.